phenomenal We're here, waka waka Camry Feel the spirit of 58 now We're going to Qatar Fans of all the major footballing nations are beginning to descend on Qatar. I've seen the Brazilians, the Dutch, and of course the English. But there is one team missing, the Italians. And that's because, unlike the mighty Wales, they didn't qualify. But I have heard that there's still an Italian influence here, in the shape of a shopping mall based on the city of Venice. We've just got into the mall now, and when you walk in, it's pretty amazing. There's a canal running through the middle with gondolas and everything, uh, and then there's like buildings all around the edge that are yeah, made to look like Italian buildings. They've all got like the flags of all the World Cup nations uh, flying, including Wales, which is pretty cool. Wales, Wales, Wales. So as they say, you can't come to Qatar without going on a gondola. So on we go. Was it on the bucket list? No, but am I happy I'm doing it? Kind of. It's no MacArthur Glen. What I will say to the people of MacArthur Glen, whoever runs it, get one of these in there and I'll be there every week, honestly. The driver's doing a good job. <laughs> He's not doing anything. He's just standing there looking good. <laughs> so we've come to Souk Wakif, which is like an old market in the middle of Doha. And it's nice because it's like a sort of like little oasis of like tradition and heritage in a, a very modern city. I don't know about you, but when you go to like Middle Eastern markets like this, you expect to find some knockoff football shit. So. I'm going to see if Wales have finally actually made it onto the Wales stage and try and find myself a knock-off Wales top. Let's see what they've got here then. Hiya, nice to meet you. Any Wales tops? No, no, no Wales, no Wales. Okay, thank you. No one's going to have Wales, are they? Have you got anything Wales related? Wales related merch? Nothing. Can't find anything, you just can't find anything Wales related here. <laughs> I've been pulled in for an interview. Hello, how are you? I think you are from Wales. I am, yeah. Oh, Gareth Bale! Gareth Bale, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. How far do you think Wales are going to go? They have a good team, they have a talent player. Maybe, maybe, and then not semi, maybe semi final. No, semi final. If you have good luck, we if Gareth Bale play good, you have chance. <laughs> Thank good you luck. very much. Oh my god, that was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what were we trying to do? Oh yeah, find a knockoff Wales top. <laughs> Good luck, so are you? <laughs> so obviously, this is good. Oh, you want to go in? I'm good, how are you? It's a pretty good like party atmosphere down here, fair play. It is, uh, it's <laughs> everyone's very excited about the World Cup. This is Tunisia. Tunisia. We love Wales. We do. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like a celebrity here, this is amazing. Hey. <laughs> Honestly, I'm never going to find the top at this rate. It's just absolute chaos. But job in hand, find the Wales top. I don't think that's going to happen, is it? Which country is it? Wales. Wales. No Wales. Oh, no. You've got a lot of football tops here. Have you got any Wales? No. So we found some, uh, found some flags here. You know, I know I wanted a shirt, but I'll settle for anything at this point. So this man has got some Welsh stuff in. Legend. You're welcome. <laughs> he's got the Welsh pendants and he's got the rings. Go, uh, do you think it'll go nice with my nice with my earring? It's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> so unfortunately, I didn't manage to find a knockoff Wales top in Super Keith. But what I will say is, I'm very happy with my Welsh ring. Um, I did have a good time though. Met a lot of different people. Everyone's very friendly. Everyone just wants to. Hey, lots of Tunisians. Um, and a lot of people saying, "Yay, Gareth Bale." So it's been pretty fun. I won't forget my experience in Super Keith anytime soon. And <laughs> although hi. Hi. Hello, hi. Hello, hi. hello, hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. See, everyone's just so friendly.
setting in now, the, the tax we have ahead. I think you couldn't really get a bigger difference to be honest between what it was like before USA. Obviously 10 o'clock kickoff, long day, atmosphere. By the time we got to kick off, everyone had a few drinks, we were all raring to go, whereas now it's like early kickoff, everyone's sober and nervous and you can really feel it in the air. You get a feeling really of just how important it is and everyone knows, all the Welsh fans know, and the and the Iranians actually, that it's make or break, do you know what I mean? We don't get a positive result and we're struggling to get through to the next round, so yeah, just didn't get a wink of sleep, feeling so nervous. Just absolutely praying we get a win by any means necessary, to be honest. And really hoping we wake up tomorrow, you know, still fighting and still with a good chance of getting through. Come on. It's very hot. Typical, literally the whole stadium is in the shade. You boys are dressed for it, aren't you? Nate, so this is the best purchase we've made. This is stunning. This <laughs> 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 Very decent start. The Iranians, fair play, they're making an absolute racket. One nil, one nil run. I think it's offside, I think it's going to be off. The ref was looking like he's going to say it's off the time. She's fucking offside! I don't know if they're checking it or not, but people seem to think it's off, but the Iranians don't. how hot I am. I dread to think how hot those players are there are, but luckily the shade is like slowly making its way towards us. So big second half and I think to be honest, I said this in the first game, but I really do think now the next 45 will will define whether we go home or not because yeah it's massive now. Second half Wales attacking this way. Three and they score the winner in front of us now. Iran just hit the bar. They just hit the bar. Then they hit the post, and then they hit the other post, I think. And then Hennessy saved it. We are so lucky. And it was after good play for us. Literally, a goal's coming, and we just don't know who falls. So, this is so hard to watch, honestly. It's just Iran pressure now. We look like we've run out of ideas, we look knackered. And they just look like way more likely to score. It's just so frustrating. They're checking for a red card for Hennessy. I think it might be, to be honest. Positive, I think the second positive is that we're not out. It feels like we're out, but and I know we've got a mountain to climb, but we're still in with a chance and you just never know what might happen. You just never know with football. And to be honest, nothing nothing would be better than beating England to go through. It's time to dream. It's time to dream. Do a them and dood adre. Do a them a drood adrem. Do a them a do adre. Oh that was really really that was really really good. So that was it's not coming home. <laughs> oh, yeah. It means it's not coming home. Oh no! <laughs> it's coming home! Macumbri and Mindyanef. Macumbri and There we go. Yeah. Wales are going to win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.